We're here with uh, Kim Housen, uh, project coordinator of Truck Stop with Packed Ottawa. Uh, Kim and, and, and Truck Stop are doing something kind of special here today, and we'll let Kim tell us about it. Kim, what are you guys doing here? So we're here, um, I'm with Pact Ottawa, which is Persons Against the Crime of Trafficking in Humans, and we are implementing a human trafficking awareness campaign for members of the trucking industry. We're hoping that informed and aware truck drivers can notice potential situations of human trafficking and then alert law enforcement. So what we're doing is we're going to be installing awareness materials at truck stops all along the 401 and the 403 between Ottawa and Windsor mm -hmm. and Toronto to Fort Erie, right. and uh, distributing these CDs. It's called Watch for the Signs, and it has an auto audio documentary on human trafficking in Canada. Canada. So it explains what the issue is, who's affected, um, and then how truck drivers can get involved. And what we've done is we've created an acronym, WATCH, and it lists five signs that are present in most cases of human trafficking. Okay. And so we're asking for people just to be aware and cognizant as they're out on the roads. Mm -hmm. And if they see something suspicious and they suspect that there might be something going on, mm -hmm. just to call Crime Stoppers or 911 and report the activity. So can you give us a couple of signs? Like uh, what, what should uh, drivers out there look for? So our first sign is W watched. So you'd be looking for someone who seems as if they're constantly under surveillance or someone else is controlling and monitoring their activities. Okay. So not able to speak on their own behalf or you know, if they're going to, let's say, the washroom at a truck stop or whatnot, someone is just surveilling them the whole time that, that they're moving around in that area. Right, right. Or they might appear afraid. So they uh, fear for their own safety or the safety of their family. Okay. Another thing to look would be if someone looks uh, tired, so T is tired, right. so they're exhausted or malnourished or they're showing signs of physical or emotional abuse. Yep, yep. C is confused, so they may seem disoriented with where they are or very unfamiliar in their surroundings. They may not have knowledge of English or French mm -hmm. um, and not be able to really interact quite well with, with the people around them and seem quite quite uncomfortable. Right, right, right. And then H would be housed at work, so they appear to live where they are working. And this is particularly important for cases of labor trafficking, right, right, or right. people may be confined on construction sites or farms or whatnot, mm -hmm. and they're living in really horrible conditions there. Okay. Kim, thank you very much. Thank you very much for talking with us about this initiative. There you go. Check it out. Keep your eyes open.